Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on The Flash Season 7. Actually, this is possibly my first video on The Flash Season 7, so Season 6 has ended. They have released a synopsis for Season 7. Also, we got a few other things that we're going to be talking about in today's video, and hopefully I will have another video out later because they are planning to do a new crossover, and we got some big details regarding that. Hopefully that will come later today or tomorrow. So for now we're going to talk about The Flash and what's happening next season. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so the CW has announced that The Flash isn't going to be coming back until January 21st. That is the official day that The Flash Season 7 is going to come back. So obviously we were kind of expecting some delays, but... You know, I talked about this in yesterday's video, go check it out. There is nothing too much that is being changed to The Flash. It's still in its normal time slot on its normal day. The only difference is we're going to have to wait a much longer time essentially until the season comes. So it's going to be in January, towards the end of January is when it's going to premiere. Normally we would come back in October, around mid-October time. So basically you're going to have the rest of October, which is like two weeks more than normal. Plus on top of that nearly three months because it's near the end of January when The Flash is going to be coming back. So, you know, it's a bit of a longer wait. We'll be fine and we'll make videos as we head towards the season premiere as we do always in the summer, but now it's just going to be a few more months longer. And, you know, we'll see them filming. They're going to start filming still roughly around the same time, hopefully when they get back. Hopefully it's very soon, but we won't be seeing the episodes until later, essentially. So. There will still be videos all the time on my channel, so don't go anywhere throughout this longer wait that we're going to have for next season. But anyway, so yeah, today we're going to be talking about the synopsis for Season 7, which has just been released. And this was in coats with ending the season. I think the reason why they released the synopsis so much earlier than normal, they would normally release it about Comic-Con time, so like months earlier is due to how the season ended and the fact that it wasn't really a proper cliffhanger and it wasn't really a proper finale, it wasn't meant to be a finale, it was supposed to be just episode 19, then we would have 20, 21, then 22, which would be our normal finale. So, you know, I think the reason is people don't know what's going to happen, are they going to continue those final three episode storylines next season or not, and I think they released this in order to ease everyone's minds. So let's go ahead and read the synopsis. So Barry Allen, Grant Gustin, lived a normal life as a perpetually tardy CSI in the Central City Police Department. Barry's life changed forever when the Star Labs particle accelerator exploded, creating a dark matter lightning storm that struck Barry, bestowing him with super speed and making him the fastest man alive, The Flash. After a thrilling cliffhanger last season, which saw the new Mirror Master, victorious and still at large in Central City, the Flash must regroup in order to stop her and find a way to contact his missing wife, Iris West Allen. With the help of the rest of Team Flash, which includes superheroes Caitlin Snow, Cisco Ramon, Ralph Dibney, and Nash Wells, as well as the Flash's adopted father, Joe West, and meta attorney, Cecile Horton, tough cub reporter, Allegra Garcia, and brilliant tech nerd, Chester P. Runk, Flash will ultimately defeat Mirror Master, but in doing so, he will also unleash an even more powerful and devastating threat on the city, one that threatens to tear his team and his marriage apart. So that is the synopsis for this season, so this is how the synopsis is for the whole season long, always start, they always start with a recap of how he became the Flash, so he got hit by lightning and then he became the fastest man alive, the Flash. That is in all the synopsises, so that's nothing different, we can skip past that. But anyway, so they say, after a thrilling cliffhanger last season, which saw the new Mirror Master victorious and still at large in Central City. So, apparently it was a thrilling cliffhanger, I don't think it was a very thrilling cliffhanger in my opinion. Did you think it was a thrilling cliffhanger? Let me know in the comments down below. But yeah, the new Mirror Master, they confirmed, yes, she's called the Mirror Master, or the new Mirror Master in this case. I think that's cool. We haven't been calling her that yet. It's kind of nice to get some sort of confirmation. We've just been calling her Eva so far. But anyway, so the new Mirror Master was victorious and is still in large and central city. This is going to be the case at the start of the season. And the Flash must regroup in order to stop her and find a way to make contact with his missing wife, 
Iris West Allen. So this basically confirms right at the start of the season, they're going to finish the storyline from season 6, what they originally planned to do, and then they're going to continue and start a new storyline once the Mirror Master is defeated. So they're going to, at the start of the season, they're going to keep on trying to find Iris, they're going to make their way into the Mirrorverse, and that's probably going to be the first three episodes, I would guess. It could be longer, I guess. But I would say they're probably going to try and keep it down a bit so that they can have the rest of the season to explore whatever they want to explore. But the team is going to regroup and the next bit of the synopsis is very interesting. So it goes like this. With help from the rest of Team Flash, which includes superheroes Caitlin Snow, Cisco Ramon, Ralph Dibney and Nash Wells. Let's break down this bit first. It confirms that Caitlin's back. It confirms that Danielle is set to come back. So at the end of this season, it was said that she was going to go away. Basically the plan was because Danielle was pregnant at the time and that last episode that we saw, episode 19, would have been her last episode for the season and she would have returned in season 7 and so this was her maternity leave time and it just so happened, literally there's no point for her leaving, it kind of made sense in the end, she's just gonna potentially leave for the summer and then once they start season 7, they can just say, oh, you know I'm back and we as the audience won't tell any difference basically so yeah confirms Caitlyn's back also confirms Cisco's back because Cisco wasn't in last episode because they planned to bring him back the episode after I think and because he went to Atlantis to try and get something to defeat Eva it seems like they're going to continue that with Cisco coming back with that device and he's going to be in turn like one of the reasons why they end up defeating Eva towards the start of the season I think they're going to change how they originally planned to finish season 6 because, you know, it's going to be at the start of next season, so maybe they speed it up, maybe, you know, the three episodes could be squashed into two episodes or something like that, but we have to wait and see, so Ralph's still around, also confirmed Nash Wells is staying around, you know, we don't normally get different versions of Wells always sticking around, it's kind of cool to see Nash sticking around because I really do like this version of Wells, so he is sticking around, Tom's not going to be playing any other characters apart from probably Reverse Flash is going to return considering how they left him off at the end of this season and so let's move on to the next bit so Joe West, Cecile Horton, Allegra Garcia and Chester P. Runk are all going to be around of course Joe, of course Cecile so Allegra and Chester are the two new series regulars for this next season that was confirmed a while ago and so they're going to be sticking around a bit more, you're going to see more of Chester, we haven't seen much of Chester recently, we've seen him in like three episodes or something like that, Allegra's been around a lot more, so it makes sense for Allegra, I guess they want to have a sort of replacement ready in case Carlos ever wants to leave the show, because Chester basically plays like a newer version of Cisco as of right now, while Brandon plays a new version of Cisco, that being Chester, that makes more sense. Okay, so let's move on to the next bit. So, the Flash will ultimately defeat Mirror Master. That's full stop. So, yeah, definitely she's been defeated, and this is going to happen. Seems like, you know, this is a spoiler, actually, that she's going to be defeated. Obviously, we were expecting it, but it's going to happen pretty quick, according to this, because they literally state it in the synopsis. And so, this is the teaser for the rest of the season, and it goes like this, but in doing so, he will also unleash an even more powerful and devastating threat on Central City. So what's happening here is whatever he does to defeat the Mirror Master, to defeat Eva, is going to cause an even greater threat and more powerful and devastating threat. So who could this be? I think there is a possibility considering they mention it could tear his marriage apart, that it could be a different version of the Flash. I think there's a possibility, we'll talk about that in a second regarding Red Death, but the idea that I mainly got from this is I think it could be Cobalt Blue because if you remember in the past, Iris was going to get married to Eddie Thorne and people have been speculating for the longest time that Cobalt Blue's going to show up and he's going to be played by Rick Cosnett who played Eddie. So I think this is a high possibility as of right now and people have been expecting it and I think they do want to have a sort of different type of villain this season and I think this would be really good because in the comics he's not a speedster but he's able to take speedster speed and he's able to use it so you'll have those cool fights that we haven't had in such a long time obviously we've had godspeed reverse flash has shown up and had a few fights but i mean like as a whole season long threat so i think cobalt blue would be amazing and i think this is hinting at him so what do you think about that let me know in the comments down below do you think cobalt blue is going to be coming also 
Red Death, this has been theorized for, you know, the past couple of seasons since he was mentioned. And I think that could cause some sort of conflict. People have been theorizing about blood work, but also people have been theorizing about Thorn being out there. He needs to get a body. What happens if he gets this body of, say, someone like blood work and then they take over and Thorn takes over blood work and becomes the Red Death, you know, that makes sense, or it could be he takes over this version of Godspeeds, maybe the Godspeeds that have been sent back from the past have something to do with Reverse Flash, so I think that makes sense, but I would say it's more likely to be Cobalt Blue as of right now from this synopsis, considering it mentions his marriage, and, you know, there was a past relationship with a version of Eddie, so if this new version of Eddie shows up as Cobalt Blue, that could put a threat on their marriage. So yeah, that's it for the Season 7 synopsis. Let's quickly move over to another piece of information that I wanted to actually talk about. So, because no DC TV shows are returning in the fall, CW has actually picked up another show, another DC show, which is Swamp Thing, and they're going to be showing Season 1. It originally aired on DC Universe, so it's going to be making its television debut on normal television and so Swamp Thing is going to be around for season one and I guess this brings up the idea especially when you saw the reports a couple of days ago regarding this is Swamp Thing going to be you know continued is it going to get a season two I think that's a possibility considering that they did actually hint towards Swamp Thing in the crossover this year where he made an appearance and I think you know there are some plans for this but for now it's probably just season one just to have some DC shows on whilst all our other shows are filming and they come back at the mid-season as the CW has announced recently. So do you guys think that Swamp Thing is going to have a season two on the CW? Let me know. And so that's about it for this video guys. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see red.